Have you ever wished you could make instant decisions in Power BI without endless nested-if statements? That's where switch function comes in. It's your shortcut to cleaner and more efficient conditional logic. It's like a smart menu in a restaurant. Give it an order as an input and it serves exactly what you need as an output, whether it's dynamic labels, classifications or custom calculations. So let's uncover how Switch can streamline your reports and supercharge your data analysis. But before we begin, please like, share and subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka's YouTube channel. Also check out Edureka's Power BI certification training course in collaboration with PwC Academy, which equips you with the business analytics skills covering Power BI Desktop, DAX, Service, Data Modeling, Reports and more with real-world use cases. This live instructor-led training offers hands-on experience and prepares you for the PL300 exam with guidance from 10 plus years of industry experts. So check out the course link in the description box below. Now, let us understand what is switch function in Power BI. Well, this switch function in DAX makes it easier to write conditional statements. It evaluates an expression and then it compares it to a series of values returning the first matching result. Switch function can replace multiple nested if statements by condensing multiple conditions into a single function. This leads to a cleaner, simpler DAX expressions that are easier to read and maintain. So it also improves the readability of your formulas, making it easier for you and others to understand and modify your calculations. Now, let us have a look at the basic syntax for the switch function. So as you can see, there is an expression, the expression that is evaluated and then the values that are compared against the expression and then the results that are returned if the expression matches the corresponding value. And then we have else an optional result that is returned if none of the values matches the expression. Now let us have a look at why is the switch function used in Power BI. The switch function in Power BI is a powerful alternative to complex nested if statements, making your DAX formulas easier to read and maintain. So here's why you should use it. First, it simplifies conditional logic. Switch handles multiple conditions efficiently by evaluating an expression and returning the first matching result. This makes your DAX code cleaner and easier to understand. Next, it improves performance. Compared to deeply nested if statements, Switch can enhance performance, especially in complex calculations with multiple conditions. And then the dynamic reporting. It enables dynamic categorizations, conditional formatting and custom calculations, allowing you to create adaptable and interactive reports. Now let us see how to use the switch function in Power BI. So now we are at the Power BI desktop. So to import the data, we are going to get data and then from here, select text or CSV and then select your data. So once you open it, here you can click on load. And as you can see, the data set is getting loaded. All right, so here we have it. So let's open it. Okay, now let us click the table view and here is the data set. So as you can see, we have a column called revenue generated. So, to effectively categorize income levels based on this revenue, we are using the switch function in Power BI. And we are simplifying complex conditional logic to make our DAX code easier to read and maintain. So now, let us create a new column called income category. And this can efficiently classify revenue into low, mid or high categories based on specific thresholds, enabling more insightful analysis and dynamic reporting. So now, let us type the formula. So the formula goes like this, income category equal to switch and inside the switch function we are using the true function which ensures the function checks each condition sequentially and followed by the first condition that evaluates to true returns its corresponding value. So the condition is sales revenue generated is less than 90,000 then it should consider it as low and if it is false it checks the next condition. And the second condition is, if revenue generated is between 90,000 and 5 lakhs, it returns as mid. And if it is false, it moves to the next condition. And the next condition is, if revenue generated is greater than 5 lakhs, then it returns it as high. And if none of the condition matches, the function continues to the final case. 
and there is another condition which is a default case which is known as unknown. So if no condition matches then it returns unknown to handle unexpected or missing values. Alright, so once the formula is done, let us click on the comment. Okay, as you can see here, there is a new column called income category and also it has categorized into low, mid and high. Alright, now let us go to report view and from the visualization, let us pick the column chart. And now, in the x-axis, let us drag and drop the income category column and under the y-axis, let us drag and drop the ID column. And here it is. So here, the chart shows the distribution of IDs based on their income category. So as you can see, a total of 50 IDs fall into the high category, meaning their revenue is more than 5 lakhs. And then we have the 40 IDs are in the mid category, indicating their revenue ranging between 90,000 to 5 lakhs. And then we have a low revenue. Here we have 10 IDs in low category, indicating their revenue is less than 90,000. Okay. Now, let us categorize individuals based on their age. So we will use switch function in Power BI and this will create a new column called age category to classify people as adult, mid-aged or senior based on their age range. So making it easier to analyze demographics. So for that let us click on new column and here let us type the formula. So here is the formula. So formula goes something like this as age category equal to switch function and inside the switch function we are using a true function and we are using true function to ensure that conditions are evaluated sequentially and followed by the first condition that evaluates to true returns its corresponding value and the first condition is if age is 20 to 29 then the result is adult and if it is false it moves to the next condition and the next condition is if age is 30 to 44 then the result is mid-aged and if it is false it proceeds to the next condition and we also have third condition which says if age is 45 or older the result is senior and if this is also false it checks the final case and we have another condition which is a default which is known as an unknown if age does not meet any of these conditions for example uh, let's consider less than 20 or invalid then it returns unknown all right so once you are done with the formula, let's click on the commit. So as you can see here, we have a new column which is created, which is age category and we have also categorized according to adult, mid age and senior. Alright, now let us go to report view. So in the same chart, we are going to drag and drop the age category we just created into the legend field. So as you can see here, the data is categorized into adult, mid aged and senior. Okay. So here, the switch function in Power BI is a powerful tool for simplifying conditional logic and creating meaningful categories. And by using it to create columns like age category and income category, we can easily classify data, enhance analysis and make reports more insightful and user friendly. So here are some of the best practices for using switch function effectively. So first is the use for multiple conditions. So switch function is ideal when you have more than two conditional checks. And it makes your formula easier to read and maintain than the nested if statements. And the next best practices is that clearly define all cases. So your switch function should cover all the possible scenarios including a default case to handle unexpected values. This ensures your calculations are robust and less prone to errors. Next, optimize for performance. Keep the expressions within switch function as simple as possible to avoid performance hits when working with large data sets. And using variables to store intermediate results can help minimize the computational burden. Finally, test thoroughly. Especially when using switch function for complex logic, ensure you thoroughly test your results across different scenarios. And this will help catch any logic errors or cases you have missed. So as I discussed previously, the switch function in Power BI is a powerful tool for handling multiple conditions effectively. It simplifies complex logic, enhances performance and enables dynamic reporting. And mastering switch can help you create cleaner, more adaptable and user-friendly reports, making it an essential skill for Power BI users. And with this, we have come to an end to this video on how to use the switch function in Power BI. If you enjoyed listening to this video, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest.
and do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.